Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. I'm here, my buddy Lou. Say hi, Lou. Good morning. How are you? <laughs> and Lou has been a naughty boy because he's been tracking his wonderful RS4. Let's go and have a look at it, Lou. Yeah, and sure. we're just going to see the condition of it. Today we're going to be putting a coating on his car, and um, we'll talk about that in a second. But look at those brakes. <laughs> these have seen some action, so we've got to, we've got to give these a good clean out. They um, were the weak point on the track day. Were they? Yeah. Uh, very very hot, so I think I might need to change the pads. You're going to put some. But Reg has done a video pads. on that. Has he? So, uh, on yeah, road Reg. Check road Reg out. Now the car's pretty clean. It's got some road film on it, but we're going to wash it down. It's going to need claying, um, and it's also going to need polishing. Like we've got a bit of sunlight there. You can just see, even probably on this camera, we've got well, just some moderate swirls to deal with. But we've got one day, so we're going to single stage, cut and finish this degrease it, and then put a Gion coating on. And if we go over here, we'll talk about the coatings. So, where's the other one gone? We have four main coating offerings here, Lou. Yeah. We've got the Can Coat Light Evo, which is a lightweight ceramic. It's not called light, sorry. Can Coat Evo. We have Gion Evo 1, which I think is a 24-month single-layer coating. Evo Pure, which is... I'm probably going to get my time frames wrong here, which is a longer coating that lasts longer, that you just put on. Again, a single-layer. Then you could just have the Evo Mose on its own as a single-layer coating. Or you, then, finally, you can buy the Synchro Kit, which we showed on another video, Reg, where you have that as a base coat and that as a top coat. Now, with your car... We've had a chat about it, and we're going to go with the Evo 1, which is probably going to give us a bit longer lasting protection than the can coat. It should be easy to apply, and if we need to take the coating off, for whatever reason, say you wrap it around a tree, oh, God. <laughs> tire wall when you're at Goodwood, yeah, yeah. we, we know we're not going to have to wet sand or anything like that. We'll just be able to polish the car again with a sort of finishing polish or mid-range polish and take the coating off. Um, you know, and then perhaps in a, you know, one or two years' time, we can top the coating up with can coat or we could strip it off and go again and if you've got to maintain the coating these are some good products here perhaps these two are the ones that i would guess would be more recommended for ceramic cars than the quick detail i don't know though i don't really know but wet coat and ceramic detail are fantastic we're also going to be using these as part of our decon process restart wash and detar and claying the car as well um, so we've got a hell of a lot of work to do it's dark, we're wearing sunglasses. <laughs> it's actually light and we're not. I've actually got my Terminator glasses. You've got the Terminator, yeah. we'll have to put them on. <laughs> um, I'll put my ones on as well. So let's get started, guys. Brilliant. Tell me why'd you have to go and drive me so crazy? Now I'm feeling lost without you and I just can't be. Without you, baby, won't you all night long? You have to go and drive me so crazy Now I'm feeling lost without you And I just can't be Without you, baby Want you all night long Want you all night long Want you Tell me, 
Okay guys, so we have washed and decontaminated the car. You saw us wash it. You saw us, this is the shampoo that we used. We have not detarred, we went straight to clean because the level of contamination was pretty low and we're on a real tight time thing here. We need to get stuck into polishing. Um, Lou's just drying out the door shuts. Um, the paintwork now is silky smooth. There was, yeah, it feels great. There was contamination on the car though. So definitely in this instance, we needed a good clay. But I just want to show you now what we're dealing with in terms of getting the paint prepared. Does, oh yeah, there you go. So this is bulk standard, isn't it? Absolutely bulk standard. The car's well maintained, but it just needs a good polish to take out the swirls. So we've got time to do one set today and get the coating on. So we're going to be using a single stage abrasive, degreasing, and then going on with the coating. So let's get stuck in. Okay guys, so I just want to show you something that's normal. We've just done our test sets with medium cut compound and we're getting improvement obviously. So if you look there, you can still see swirls and stuff. And you look here, you can see more swirls, but that's not an acceptable, well, it's not bad, but you, you can't see on, quite on camera what I'm seeing. If I come back a bit, it's not good enough, basically. See that? Um, so we'll, what we're going to do, we can't effectively do this in a single stage. So we're going to need to cut and finish. This paint works hard as well. Um, so we're probably going to use wool and heavy cut compound and then primer it out. That would probably be the best way of doing it. But we're going to struggle. We're going to struggle to finish in one day, Lou. We're oh, going to struggle. Go. We'll get it done. We've got to move. Yeah, we've got to crack on. Let's turn this camera off. Okay, guys, so we've done a set with wool instead, and it's much better. Yeah, it's not, it's not flawless. There's, you'll see little marks still, but, you know, unpolished, um, you know, polished with still swirls. But we're going to do a finishing out set, which will hopefully take some more down. Um, unfortunately, this is just the reality of it. We can't really go any more aggressive than than thick wool and heavy cut compound. And we've only really, we're going to be pushed to do one set of cutting and one set of refining. Um, and we've got to get the coating laid down today. So it's going to be, it's going to be tough, but we've just got to crack on. That's, this is the reality, isn't it, of, of doing this. The Audi paint is hard, unfortunately, and these swirls are a little bit deeper. So fine cut's not going to, not going to cut it, <laughs> literally. <laughs> Okay guys, welcome back. We are, Lou has to finish cutting now the rear bumper and the rear tailgate. And I am primering out the cutting on the roof and then this side, this door, this door, and that rear quarter, and that along that rail there. And then I've got to primer the rear. So we're getting there. What's the time now, Lou? Uh, quarter past two. Quarter past two. We need to be done with the polishing by half three. And then we're going to do a prep wipe down, coating on, yeah. give it an hour and then leave it. And you're going to, it, Lou has to take the car. There's no rain forecast, so uh, it's not going to be washed, but it's going to sit outside overnight tonight. But it's in yeah. good, it's in a good sheltered location. So we're getting there. Um, we, uh, I'll leave, I'll leave it at that for now. <laughs>
Okay guys, we're just finishing off. It's half three, we're running out of time. We've got to get the coating on. You can see here, uh, we've got a good level of correction compared to what we started with, but not perfection. If I keep scanning, we will find swirls. There's some, well that's product, product residue, that needs a buff, but I, we'll get to that in a minute. There's a swirl mark. There are swirls over this car. I'll show you a bit in the light. Um, so you can see, you know, where's the sunshine? There, look, the sun. Well, that needs a buff. But we've got the odd little love mark in this paintwork still. And uh, that's the reality of detailing when you've got one day. We've done them. We haven't stopped, have we? We haven't even stopped for lunch. So what we're going to do now, guys, is the primer's gone down. The Gion Primer Ceramic primer leaves SiO2 down if you want to coat on the same day who's just tidying up a little patch there that, just to lower a few more swirls down but if you want to coat on the same day you need to use Gion Prep their lovely limonene spray and you can just spray it over the panel there we go um, and then you have one cloth to work it and just buff it out and what we're doing here is we're breaking down the carrier of the primer product and just taking it off the car. And then that's gonna allow us to go straight on with the coating. Um, so we wanna just crack on now. Just one more flip so we've got a dry surface. Um, and that surface now is ready um, to be coated. So there you go, guys. We're now gonna move on to the ceramic coating application. Over and out. Hey guys, so we're at the stage where we're installing the coating. We're gonna PPE up. Here is the coating itself. This is a nice, you know, uh, coating. You can apply it outside as well if you've got good conditions out there, but obviously we're gonna be using the garage. Um, Self-cleaning prevents uh, UV damage, guards against the elements, water repellent. Um, you get an elite applicator with it, with the plastic coating in it so it doesn't soak in. You get a sticker you can put on the car where you can make a note of the date you installed it. A maintenance guide, a geonized sticker that's gonna go up on my wall. Um, and you get some cure in this kit as well that you can put on top of the coating. Now, the instructions are great. They have all of their different ceramic coatings on one big leaflet, but we're doing Evo 1. We've done all the car preparation steps, guys, including the prep. So now we've got to shake the Evo 1 bottle. It's sealed, which is good. So we'll break it, break it out of that seal. Let's just read the instructions. Use a generous amount of the products. That's important. So get a good amount on there, on the coating applicator. Assure the surface is cool and dust free. It is, it's prepped. Um, now here's the thing. What does it say on the buff? Apply a thick layer of one Evo. Level the coating well. Apply it in your preferred motion. Leveling is crucial. Um, not the application pattern. So it's the buff. They said that on the other one as well, which is good. We recommend applying to full panels, split panels only when applying at high temperature or humidity. Wipe off immediately, 10 to 30 seconds after applying the whole panel. Inspect for any high spots. So that's a standard thing. That makes complete sense to me, guys. I'm just gonna stop the camera. We'll PPE up and I'll demo installing it. The bonnet's nice and easy, but I like doing it on curved bits. I like the curvy bits because they're harder. Okay, Lou, let's PPE up. There you go. Nice and wide. Okay, guys, on we go. So here's our bottle of coating. This is the moment of truth. So we should, it says a generous amount, so we want a nice wet strip down the middle of the applicator. It will start going. When it goes, it goes. There it goes. That comes out a nice controllable rate. So there, that seems like a generous amount. Lid back on very quickly so we're not vaping out that solvent. Then we do our central line across and then up and down through that line so we get it's a good little trick isn't it that just nice and quick so that said in the instructions the application putting the film out is not as important as the buff so it's all in the buff that seems pretty easy The smell reminds me of ski with the naphtha. Right, so I think we'll count to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I can see the little product lines, which is good. 
I can see a little bit of a rainbow flash because of the naphtha. So, we are good to buff, let's go. So again, nice and gentle. Now I'm not putting any pressure guys, I'm just trying to level those buff lines again. So look, it's just floating there, yeah? Which is a nice sign with the coating. So it's really smooth. And if the microfiber goes over and levels it gently, you are basically ready to go on to the next panel. So, a little final sanity check. All I'm looking for is smudges or application lines. Come in. <laughs> Thanks, Lou. Um, so I'm just looking for little smudges and stuff like that um, over the surface. And um, having this little torch here is really going to help. And uh, that's about it, really. We're going to continue around the car and then we'll give you a final summary on what we think of the coating. But that first, that seems really easy to me. Really nice to buff. You're gonna you're you're gonna experience this in a second, Lee. Cool. I've never put a ceramic on. All right. Well, this this looks like it's gonna be a doddle. So let's uh, carry on, panel by panel. Okay. Yeah, that's fine, Lou. We'll get the light. Well, you can use the torch and just double check. There's no yeah. smudges. I'll put the next section on. Lid on top. Being around the car, I think in about half an hour. Nice. There you go. Yeah, that's it. Just floats over the coating, doesn't it? Yeah, it's nice. So I want to bring in the camera, just up and down. Just see the line here. That's yeah, it. I got it. You got it. That's it. He's buffing this coating. No pressure. Taking the excess off. And sort of see where you've been. Yeah, we need to get the light as well. To, we'll get the light afterwards. It's in my pocket. You have to sort of catch the catch the light to see where it's You do, yeah. Where it's gone. Yeah, lighting is good actually. I should get the workshop lighting in. I wonder if it's easier on a darker coloured car to see where you've been. Well once the car's polished, you're just looking for the wet layer, aren't you? The wetness of it. But yeah, on white, it is difficult. It's actually, it's actually grey, this car, believe it? it or not. It's a Zuka grey. Pearlescent sort of look to yeah. it, isn't it? But it's not three-stage pearl. No. Let me just have a look. So we'll flip sides. We'll use this other side. Uh, no. Right. Just get all those edges as well. Okay, no pressure. How's that looking? Uh, I think there's a bit here. Could just be some scratches. There's a few scratches, but we got, we're down to our 90% yeah. correction. She's a, well, it's a 2013 car, it's not going to... Well, we could, we could... It's not going to be perfect, is it? Yeah, it's just time, we're out of time. This is the limitation, limiting factor. Me and Lou were talking about this, really, to do a cut and finish. Um, I think you need, unless it's really easy, I think you need two days. Um, you know, we needed to do multiple cutting, but... We've got one day, so we've done a good job, I think. So there, that gives you an idea of the bonnet. Uh, now we're gonna do the wing, the front bumpers, and the rest of the car. So Lou, we are finished. Your car is looking amazing. This is the first time you've applied a ceramic coating. Tell me about the application process and um, how, you, how it buffed in, in particular, because that's always really important. So it's really easy to put it on. You can see where the product's gone, and then the buff. That was really easy, easier than taking a paste wax off. But all I would say is that even though you think you've buffed everything off, you need to have a real good look round because you'll see spots you've missed. 
yeah. to get like this rainbow flash that you're looking for. Yeah, you're looking for the application lines as well, aren't you? And any sort of smudges and smears. But I didn't find the coating sticky at all, is it? It's nice and smooth to buff. Yeah, really smooth. Doesn't yeah. grab at all. Just, yeah. I was really straightforward, really. Yeah. yeah. So you, we were all gloved up and we've done... How long did it take us to put that coating on the car? About an hour? Actually, half really. three half four i reckon about an hour yeah, about so we're going to leave it for one hour um and then it's going to stay outside for uh, 12 hours but we've got no choice on that but there's no rain forecast so um we should be okay so guys or well, lou in, a, in two years time you've got to machine your car and apply a ceramic coating do you reckon you could do that on your own now yeah yeah easy the time is the difficult thing, isn't it? Because there's yeah. been two of us. If your car is all like, if the paintwork's all ready to go, you can wash it and you just need to give it a light polish and then you can go straight on with the coating. You could probably probably coat in one day, but we have, we have not stopped and we've just about got it done. And it's been a blast, so it's yeah. really good. I love doing this stuff. The final thing to mention is how much have we used. Um, I don't know if you can see that there, but about half of the product where's let's get some light there about half of it so you could probably do two cars with this bottle as well so that's really good to know and we've got a maintenance guide lou is already a fan of wet coat so you know in six months time or whatever when the coating you want to boost the hydrophobicity you know and get the shizzle back in there <laughs> you can use that or you can use their ceramic detailer when you wash the car and use that as like a drying aid or spray and shine and maintain the coating with the Gion products is the best way to go. And of course, the Gion Cure as well. So we have had an absolute blast today. Thank you very much, Lou, because I've used this as a test mule to, um, to try and get an understanding of Gion Evo 1. And it's a thumbs up from both of us. I found it pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Yeah, really, um, really and, straightforward. and enjoyable as well, isn't yeah. it? Even with yeah. your bad jokes, Lou. Yeah, <laughs> thanks for having me on the channel again. <laughs> no worries, mate. Over and out, everybody. Take care. Beefy old engine that is. Cars looking out, just walked into the tree. <laughs> Cars looking amazing. Oh wow, I've got to go and have a look. Stay there. Stay there, don't move. It's looking really nice, Lou looking grey yeah, it's looking grey I just want to do a walk round we've not dressed the tyres because I don't want it slinging on the paintwork Lou, Lou only lives up the road so he's just going to drive it nice and slowly and we've not got any rain forecast so it should be okay lovely this front there is a real difference with the, the bonnet it's so swirly I know there's no light to show you but trust me it's looking so glossy now that's not product smears that's the sky